Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So we're in the month of March and I'm gonna tell you exactly what I'll be doing for this month. First off, understand, everything you do is dictated by the weather. I'm always looking at the three, five, seven, and 10 day forecast. This will dictate exactly what I could do and when I can do it. So the first thing I'm gonna do after I get a couple days of no rain, I'm gonna go ahead and scalp the lawn. Scalping early will remove dormant grass from your Bermuda. This in turn will allow the sun to hit the surface and this will warm up your soil temperatures at a much faster rate. The warm up will stimulate new grass growth and you'll be the first one in the neighborhood to have a green lawn. Because I have a real mower, I'm able to go down to 0.5 inches. But if you have a rotary mower, take it down to the lowest setting. For most rotary mowers out there, typically your lowest height of cut you can achieve is about one inches. And depending on the mower brand, like an Eagle, you can go down to 1.5 inches. But the main thing is to take your mower down as low as you can go. And don't forget, you need to bag up the clippings and dispose of it. Do not mulch. Usually after I use my rotary mower, I typically go ahead and sharpen the blades. Because I went down a low setting, there's certain spots where I have hills or bumps and the blade can actually touch the surface of those spots, dulling your mower blades. So sharpening the mower blades on a rotary mower is definitely a thing I like to do in order to keep the blades sharp. After I scalp, I typically like to go ahead and apply my second application of a pre-emergent. This time I use a liquid pre-emergent. And the main reason why is because with liquid, you're able to get even coverage throughout the whole lawn. Now, if you don't use liquid, it's okay. You can still use granulars. But back in February, I applied my first application, which was a granular product. And I did several waterings. So about four to five weeks later, this is when I'll apply my second application. The pre-emergent of choice I like to use is usually Prodiamine 65 WDG. This stuff is good, it goes a long way, and the jug will last you a very long time. Another good product out there is Dimension. Dimension is very good because it's much easier to apply. You just measure the exact amount you need, mix it in the backpack sprayer, and just spray. Just remember for both these products, you need a calibrated sprayer. So after I scalp, I like to go ahead and apply my second pre-emergent application. And typically with pre-emergents, you want to water it in. But after you scalp, you don't have to water as much because the pre-emergent doesn't have to go through all that dormant grass to reach the turf. So a very light watering. Now, as the days pass and we're still in March, this is when I like to keep an eye on my forecast. And the minute I see we have consistent hot days in the 60s and 70s, this is when I'll go ahead and put down a very light application of a fertilizer. This is a practice I like to do, but the key thing is to go very light on the fur. You don't wanna go too heavy because your grass is still trying to wake up out of dormancy. But Typically the rule of thought is to put down the fertilizer when you see about 50% green up. I like to go ahead and put down a light coat when I start to see little green sprigs of grass popping up to the turf. Another thing I'm doing for the month of March is getting rid of shade where I can. I'm gonna raise the canopy of the trees that's in my backyard and get rid of any low lying branches. I wanna try to have at least filtered sunlight instead of full shade because Bermuda and shade do not mix well together. In this video here, I actually took down a tree myself. This one is causing the biggest shade. So if you have a tree in the middle of your yard and you have a Bermuda lawn, try to get a professional to get rid of that tree for you. Typically this time of year, you shouldn't have to mow often. I can probably go about a month before I have to do my next mowing. So in between that, this is when I like to refresh my mulch beds and start to cut down my bushes. This is the perfect time to do it because the weather's not too hot, not too cold, and it's gonna give you a much better curb appeal. Come late March, I also like to plant flowers. This is when the chance of freezing weather have passed and it's safe to put down your spring and summer flowers. Now, because I don't do core aeration myself, I actually hire an outside company to do this for me. This is the time I like to place my order to do core aeration on my turf. Now, they're not gonna come out right now, 
but when you place your order early on you're able to get on top of the waiting list because usually most of these companies don't come out until late March early April to start their core aeration so I want to be the first one on the list to have this service done now if you do your core aeration yourself that's fine just make sure your grass is actively growing and it should be green throughout before you do any type of core aeration besides that just go out and enjoy the days the weather is getting warmer and this is the time to get out in the yard and start doing those projects you've been dying to do hope you found this video useful and if you're new to my channel be sure to subscribe for more future content thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you later